Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole and today we're going to be making a really beautiful and healthy muffin. These ones are zucchini and cocoa, sounds pretty delicious. This recipe makes a perfect lunchbox snacks. They are also really great for baby led weaning and if you want one yourself, I mean, go ahead. They're nice and healthy, they're a great snack for the whole family. Don't go anywhere, you're gonna wanna make this recipe. Let's get to it. As I said, these muffins are really nice and healthy. So if you are looking for a sweet muffin alternative, this one is a really great option. I do have plenty of sweet recipes up on my channel though. So if you do want any of those muffins, make sure you check them out. So this one has a lot of goodness to it. The, we're using um, whole wheat flour here, which is really nice. So that's actually whole wheat self-raising flour. This recipe is also dairy free. So we're using uh, milk alternatives. This is an oat milk that I have here. And then we're using olive oil instead of something like a butter. I also have cocoa. So you can use cocoa powder or cacao powder. You can use them interchangeably. Um, the difference is cocoa will give you a little bit more of a sweetness to your muffin and the cacao powder will be a little bit more bitter. So the choice is yours. I have an egg here. So this recipe is also vegetarian friendly and we also have some maple syrup and some grated zucchini. So with the zucchini, um, if I'm ever doing anything that's baby led weaning or for my babies who are now toddlers, um, I would always grate it really, really finely as well. So I prefer to do that. It helps them eat it more easily. If you're doing this for your littles, I would say grate it as finely as possible. As always, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box for you and for the full recipe to download and print for free, head to lebombaker.com. Go ahead and preheat your oven to a moderate temperature, so 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Go and grab yourself a mixing bowl, <laughs> um, a muffin tin. So I've got six here. I've got some cases and I've just lightly sprayed them with some oil. This recipe, as you can see, makes six muffins. If you want more, you just gotta double it. Uh, and then I have a wooden spoon, a tiny whisk and a scoop. This is an ice cream scoop, but I like to use it for muffins and for cookies because it's just easier to get more of a consistent batter out. We're gonna get straight into it. I always like to do dry first and then wet or wet and dry separately and then combine them together. So we're gonna grab our whole wheat self-raising flour here and add it to our bowl and then grab the cocoa or cacao, whichever one you're using and in we go and then just give it a whisk. Now we can add our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna add in our oat milk here, the olive oil, the maple. So maple is really good as well in baby led weaning if you're looking for um, alternates to sugar. So maple syrup is great. I don't also use honey in the first year or I didn't because they're not really meant to have honey. So maple syrup is a great alternative. So I'm gonna add this egg too. I'm just gonna crack it, not into the bowl. I'm just gonna crack it separately, check it's all good. And then I can add it in. And then our zucchini, I'm just gonna add in as well. This one, I did give it a little bit of a squeeze just to get out all of the juices. And it's time to mix and combine. So we're just gonna mix it until it's just combined. We don't wanna overwork the batter. It makes it less fluffy. So busy mums, this makes perfect recipe for you because it's literally like one bowl and you just throw all the ingredients in and it comes together super, super quickly. And most of the ingredients you probably already have at home and in your pantry. Okay, that is literally it. I'm just gonna get off this batter here. All right, time to start scooping. And if you don't have an ice cream scoop like this one, just use a couple of spoons. And we're just gonna add in it as evenly as possible into each casing. So once you've added some into each, there will always be a little bit left over, or usually anyway, and then just go around with the rest of it and add a touch more to each one. So little secret, just tell your kids you've made them chocolate muffins. Technically, you're not lying. These are looking the good, so it's time to hit the oven. Hit it, hit it, hit, hit it, hit it. Okay, hit it into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, and we'll check on them halfway, rotate them as always, and see how they're going. We can add or add or take less time if we need. Um, does that make sense or not? And now we wait. Clean your dishes. I usually find by the time I've done my dishes that whatever I've baked is usually almost ready. I smell chocolate muffins. 
Okay, so I checked mine at halfway, like I said we would, and I could tell that they were cooking really quickly. So I just added five more minutes. So they've been in for 20 minutes in total, so not as long as originally expected, which is why it's always important to check it. Time to get them out of the oven. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Little bites of chocolate goodness. They look great. I'm just gonna do the skewer test. Let's do it in the side. Comes out clean, so we are good. If you don't have a skewer, you can just do the bounce test as well. So just press on it and make sure it bounces back. And they are, they are all cooked and ready to go. So I would let yours cool for five to 10 minutes. Just let them set in the tin and then we can eat them. I can't choose which one. Okay, ah, you. I don't know why, but this one it is. <laughs> I'm so excited to try these. Look at this, peeling off the little case perfectly. Mmm, smells good. Let's break it open first, see what it's like. Oh yeah, nice, light and fluffy. Mmm, mmm, delicious and nutritious. They're really Moorish. For the big kids playing at home, you could add some butter to it if you want to get a little bit cheeky. Even for the littles, so they'll probably like it as well. But they're really nice as is. And guys, zucchini who? I can't even taste the zucchini in this. Not only is it the perfect way to get more vegetables in for the little ones, but for yourself too. These are so wholesome tasting. Honestly, they're so beautiful. You can get a little bit naughty and add chocolate chips and butter if you like, but they're really beautiful as is. Have it with a tea or coffee. And for the little ones, it's gonna fill up their tummy. It's nice and easy to eat. It's just delicious. Such an awesome alternative to snack bars, anything in a packet. I mean, these are homemade, full of goodness. I can't stop eating it. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I really hope that you love this amazing, wholesome and homemade recipe. If you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell because I have a new video coming out all the time. And as always, comments are appreciated. I love to hear from you guys. So make sure you leave me a comment as well. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'll see you again soon.